And welcome back. My guest is Dr. Lisa Van Susteren, a practicing psychiatrist here in the greater Washington area. She is on a train heading down to Florida to join her husband, who's got a conference uh, somewhere in the Miami area. Uh, but what she's explained to us is the, the relaxation of just stopping, jumping on an airplane, getting there before you leave almost, and then rushing through. The st- That's not happening. The train just doesn't work that way, and the importance of that. And also, Lisa, being out there where you can actually see green grass. You can actually see the earth, can't you? Boy, you sure can. And the sense of peace uh, that you have to slow down is something that when it comes in through our eyes, it tells the whole rest of our body to relax. And who's doing that these days? We're all hooked in, looking at screens and forgetting that we came. This is home. Uh, The natural setting, that's home. Fascinating so stuff. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm all for it, and it's better. It's better for us, and it's better for the environment. This recent report uh, that's done uh, by uh, Countem says that uh, uh, a stressed employee can have detrimental effects on the department or the company they work for, uh, and certainly, folks, uh, the stress that you feel normally is now we're piling on because now we have a political stress. We feel uncertain to some degree, many of us, as we watch what happens, as we change administrations, as we go through this process, as we now bring in a new president who has a completely different style. Uh, Not only is he shaking up uh, Washington, but he's shaking up the people in the nation. Half the folks at home voted for them, the other, uh, uh, and the electorate uh, populace voted for him, the other half didn't. Now, Dr. Lisa has not, uh, her her patient is not uh, 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 our new president. So it would be unfair for me to right. say to her, evaluate or do. But what we can talk about, I think, and I'd like to see if you can, is it safe to suggest that he does have a style that is so um, so completely different that it might cause us some concern? Is that a safe statement? I think that's a safe statement. It's probably not coming as a news flash to anybody. <laughs> Uh, And I will start off with, and I can be apolitical, I have patients coming into my office every day from different uh, places on the spectrum. It doesn't matter what one's political views are. You can still talk about character and personality. And one wit did say, and I must uh, admit that I appreciate this, that the presidency is supposed to age the president, not the people. (laughs) So... You know, we are uh, exposed now to a unique style, and we can talk about leadership and what is a short-term, perhaps, gain and what we need to look at mid-term and long-term. Just like when you are making financial decisions, you can have short-term gains, but what you're looking for sometimes is the long-term, mid-to-long-term impact. And leadership style is something that is not just to be looked at in the short term, but how does this style, weather, and times of crisis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is something that I think we need to look at. I couldn't agree more because from my vantage point and to my audience who, who have to make decisions about whether I'm going to invest, what I'm going to do with my money, how am I going to use it, um, uh, I, I just, and I've had people come say, I'm not sure where we're headed. I don't know what to do here. This is so totally different. So, so his particular style uh, and the way he governs and manages does have an impact on how comfortable I might feel in terms of making it. How do I counter that? How do I deal with that? Uh, well, it, it's a little bit tough. I have to say there's no easy sort of solution when and a style is creating a lot of uproar. And we have to agree that it is depending upon where you come from politically. You're going to say it's good or it's bad. But we know that internationally. People are upset about this change, and we know that nationally people become polarized. And so you try to figure out where the middle is, and that can be very elusive because, in fact, there may not be any sweet spot in the middle. It may be bouncing around at the moment, and while I'm no economics expert, uh, I have to say that my bet would be, as you said, to safely invest But I uh, can't say that it isn't going to be volatile because right now it certainly is. And with a style that does seem to promote conflict, I don't see how that's going to level off at the moment. Maybe it will. You know, just one let. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was going to say that uh, I have this discussion with my husband. I wish that any investment we have, we could just 
you know, put in land someplace. It doesn't have to have anything on it, but just land. Yeah. And he rolls his eyes at me and says, oh, for God's sake, the stock market is going to be stable over the long term. <laughs> And so there you go. So you have a perfect example of people on two ends of the spectrum. Absolutely. When we come back, we'll talk about those spectrums. We're also going to bring in an economist, a good friend here, uh, to talk about what he is seeing in terms of the reactions to our new leadership. This is Home and Family Finance. We'll be right back. 